Affordable housing is also a serious issue in our mountain towns. In an effort to make the most of limited space available, CDOT has partnered with Frisco to help create affordable housing for both plow drivers and the workforce living in one of the most expensive places in our state. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, has more from the new development in Frisco. Granite Park is intended to be split between CDOT workers working along the mountain corridor on I-70 and then also local Frisco workers, neither of which would probably be able to afford living in this town otherwise. <laughs> While this might just look like wood, wires, and pipes right now, this whole structure and context of the housing crisis in Summit County, you could say is really made of gold. Like a lot of these units, if they were market units that were built, these would cost a million and a half dollars. And what about people that work in our communities that power our mountain communities, right? Governor Jared Polis stopped by to see the process of the 619 Granite Street Workforce Housing Project. 22 units for those who will likely never be able to afford a home up here otherwise. We need people to plow the snow, we need to staff restaurants, we need to staff schools. And so where are folks gonna live who are making 50, 80, even $100,000 a year? You can't on even on 100,000 afford to live in a million and a half dollar home. So. And while there are still rental properties that are affordable in a sense up here, they often come with catches, like having six roommates or the possibility that the renter will choose to sell or raise the rent or simply kick you out altogether. Do you have a lottery? For this offers families a more stable option and an incentive to stick around Around in an environment that is otherwise downright a challenge. There's going to be, you know, 50, 60, 70 people that are able to live in this, in this, in these wonderful units alone. And that can help CDOT fill in some of their hiring woes as well. They've also pointed out a lot of their snowplow drivers simply can't afford to live in the places that we need them, along with some of the most dangerous and turbulent parts of the interstate. This all-electric complex will provide them with that opportunity to find a home and keep all of us moving along the mountain corridor no matter what the weather throws at us. The construction is expected to be finished around September or October, of course, depending on how the construction goes up here with weather and with supplies as well. In Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Spencer is your reporter in the mountains covering all things happening in our high country. If you have a story idea for him, please reach out. You can get in touch through our website, cbscolorado.com, or by calling our tip line.